Our next small veteran-owned business is called Cheeky Boy Sauces. Kay Fung is the creator. And once again, I'm going to ask you to make sure that I'm saying your name right. But basically, um, a UK-based veteran-owned business, who, again, a foodie who has, an, has a passion for the authentic flavors and tastes that he has discovered in travels around the world. I want to welcome you in and say thank you so much for your service as well. And how do you say your last name? Well, you got it right. Oh. It's K Fung. Good. Totally right. Thank you. <laughs> good, good, uh, good. Hello, America and Jane. Thank you so much for being here. So talk to us a little bit about why and how you got started making these sauces. Right. Um, after 16 years in the British Army as an officer in the engineers, um, I've traveled the world building all sorts of big structures for to house soldiers and equipment in, including runways and hospitals. And as I travel through all these operations, I tend to collect recipes from um, all the different cultures, the Americans we're working with, the Australians, the, the Afghans, the um, Arabs, etc., to make um, the, uh, the to, 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 to taste their street food. So after 16 years of doing this and having spent seven and a half years uh, working with uh, U.S. State Department and uh, Department of Defense and in Afghanistan, I thought, right, time to do something really different and do something that I really enjoy, which is making sauces, um, street food sauces from different cultures. And, and so we came up with Cheeky Boy sauces um, in 2015. Well, Cheeky Boy, I love the name, and there's got to be a backstory to that as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh Lord, um, that's uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think it has a little, a tiny bit to do with me because I, I like teasing people. Okay. Uh, I like, I like teasing, and I like to make um, uh, put hot sauce on people's food without them knowing oh, it. Oh, okay. And to see how, how they respond. <laughs> and and, <laughs> and ha having know. having a laugh. Good to Absolutely. know when we invite you to a party, we have to make sure we watch our food. So <laughs> the one that I have here, just an example, this is the Cheeky Boy uh, spicy German curry sauce. Just walk us through some of the different flavor profiles and what we can okay. expect with something like this. So we're we are coming into America with three of our best sellers. The number one seller is your spicy German curry sauce. So all those um, veterans in America that served in Germany and Poland would have experienced um, a, a, a dish called a curryverse sauce. That they are, they are German bratwurst sauce that um, you eat at the the, the the takeaways, the fast food stands, etc. And so I created this um, with my own recipe and made it out of um, what do you call um, frozen um, food of vegetable pellets, so that it's really, really. You can really, really taste the vegetables mm -hmm. when, when you, you are tasting the sauce. So this goes on your burgers, your bratwurst, your wings, and and I also cook with it. So when I'm doing my bolognese sauce, I finish the sauce by putting a, a glug of the sauce into, into my bolognese sauce and s serve it up, and it'll bring it up to another level. So this is a spicy German. So Jane, you might want to twist the cap and give it a, a sniff test if you like to see, tell me what you think. All right. Oh, wow. Mm, I Hopefully can a different I can profile. smell a uh, tomato. I can smell like honey, maybe. Celery. There's not a whole lot of, I don't, I'm not getting a big burst of hot spiciness. So I think it's, 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 it's like mild. one of those, bi yeah, a little bit milder. Yes, um, yes. But, oh my gosh, it smells delicious. My mouth is watering now. <laughs> so <laughs> so the, the second sauce is a hot mayo. Um, now, it has a, a um, history to it. This is created in 1953 for the coronation of our Queen Elizabeth II. And, and she has served our country for 70 years right. this week. Mm -hmm. So it is massive celebrations going on. And this hot, hot mayo is traditionally known as coronation chicken sauce. So that's for all your chicken, your fries, and your turkey, and, and take it to every party. Because it would be fantastic. I love it. Then and our, the third sauce is Yeti. 
abominable hot sauce as made with goat, chilies, and coffee. Wings, ribs, and toasties, and these are the chilies used by the British Army Gurkhas. And so it's going to be a different level of heat. Wow. But, and, and, but very tasty. Well, I, you know what? I love your passion and the energy that you bring to what you make in these sauces. And it does make a difference to have that kind it, of international flavor take you uh, on a tour, as it were, of the different palates around the world. So we appreciate you uh, for bringing this to us, and we're looking forward to sampling it. Um, our viewers that are watching, I encourage you to go to qvc.com. You can actually uh, see all of the different sauces at uh, Kay's website and it's cheekyboyssauce.com um, for all the good stuff. So thank you so much. I know you have a busy weekend and we wish you all the best in the future, Kay. Thank you again. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye.